This video is going to show you how to create reflections in Painter 2021. This would also work in earlier versions. Very simple way to create reflections of objects. They're not technically accurate, but they look close enough that usually it works just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you. You can see here I've got an image of a little forest that I painted earlier. And I'm going to reflect this down into the bottom half of the canvas. Really easy to do, a couple ways to do it. There's no really right or wrong way, but I want to show you a quick way. Very, very simple. And the first thing I will do is duplicate the forest layer once initially. And I will come up under here under Edit, Transform, and I'm going to flip it vertical. This is going to become our reflected layer. I'm going to want to bring it down here. And I'm going to ultimately align it right at the bottom here. And you can see that little white line will kind of be the area where the water would be hitting the bank. So I'm just going to line it here. I'm going to go Edit, Free Transform. And I'm going to pull this portion of this forest layer down a little bit so it looks like that. Reflections tend to be a little more flattened out just because of the angle we look at them. And so this is going to be one of the reflection layers. I'm going to duplicate this a second time, and it will come clear. Uh, there's a good reason for this. And I'll start with the bottom layer. So I'll hide this top layer here. I'm going to use a paper texture to do this initially. Very easy to use. And that will be up under here. I want to show that window. So media panels, papers. And this is a default paper texture. It is here, new streaks, and it comes in streaky at this angle. I have changed the angle of the paper to about 116 degrees, give me this horizontal looking feel. This is important to make it look like uh, reflected in the water. And I scaled it up. Scale will depend on how big your image is and what you are doing with it. Angle again should look so it is pretty horizontal. And here comes really the pretty simple part. With layer 2 active, I'm going to come up under Effects, and I'm going to come under Focus, and come down to Glass Distortion. Brings up this dialog box, and you can see already I've gotten a little bit of horizontal distortion in this reflected layer. Now you will want play with mainly these three sliders, softness, amount, variance. If you don't see quite what you're expecting to see, make sure that you've got the right paper texture selected. So I'm going to increase the amount a lot and some of the variance. So see already you can get this nicely looking kind of pseudo reflection of the trees. I am seeing a little bit of white edge and that's because a little bit of the canvas layer is showing through. I'm going to cancel that right now. And I'm going to go back in and just fix that a little bit. But that's what happens when you've got a little bit of the white showing. So what I'm going to do is this. Delete this layer. And this layer 2, I'm going to edit, free transform. And I'm going to pull it up a little bit, pull it down a little bit. And this should take care of that issue with the white appearing. I'll go ahead and test that by coming up under Effects. And now Glass Distortion is my top effect. And you can see that the white, the distracting white, is gone. So you will need to decide how much you want to reflect here. Initially, I want the reflections to be a little bit smaller. So back here in this area, as it goes toward the bank, I want them to be a little bit smaller. Just a little bit will go a long way. Now see, I made the waves maybe a little bit too big out here. So I'll either move the softness back down, play with the variance. So this is probably pretty good for the initial reflections we've got here. Very simply done, very quickly done, as you can see. So I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go and duplicate this layer. So the bottom layer is now this layer. I'm going to increase the scale of my paper significantly. And I'm going to apply the same effect, glass distortion. And I'm applying it to the upper layer. And the reason I'm doing this is I do want to get some of the reflections now getting closer to me, looking a little bigger. Now that would be way too big back in here, but for what we're doing right now, this is okay. So get it to whatever you'd like. 
Okay, that may even be good for demonstration purposes, but I wouldn't use that. It's a little too much. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now what I want to do, and I want to use a soft eraser so I can carefully go in and erase on this top layer. So I'll make the eraser pretty big. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to reveal here and there, so very linear side-to-side -side stroke. I'm going to reveal the underlying layer that has got smaller reflections in it. I'm going to erase a little bit on layer 2 to get some of these reflections that went up into kind of the muddy area. And then the last thing I'm going to do is show a little bit of reflection in the water. And so I'm going to just pick pencil brush. One of my favorites is the Real 2B pencil, so I'll go ahead and use that one. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And I'll create a new layer. So a new layer. And what I want to do is come back in with some bluish light color and with this paint a few little reflections just along the edge. Where the water hits the edge of a bank, it always reflects. And so that's what I'm doing here. And up on the layer 3, if you want, with the brush, go ahead. This is definitely not required. But add a couple of just strokes, reinforcing maybe a little more disturbance on the water. And you can do it with the lighter color, or you can also do it with the green color. You can make them a little bigger down here. And if you want, put in a couple of really just sparkly highlights here and there. While the reflection is definitely not accurate, if you need a quick reflection, it's a very easy way just using an effect and a focus and glass distortion along with a default paper texture to give a reflection that looks pretty convincing. That is how I would go about making pretty easy reflection very, very quick. Your biggest use of time will be painting what you want to reflect. That's how, in a very easy way, you can create a reflection in Painter 2021.